In this video, we're going to learn how to peel and segment citrus, also known as making citrus supremes. Uh, so to start, I'm gonna put on gloves. Uh, we know that we have to wear gloves when working with uh, ready-to-eat food product. And uh, the majority of the time, uh, these Citrus Supremes that we're making are not going to be cooked afterwards. So we do wanna use gloved hands when handling them. Uh, so we're going to use a grapefruit today. Um, you can use this on any uh, citrus fruit. Uh, so on lemons, on limes, on oranges, uh, pomelos, uh, we're just using a grapefruit today for our demonstration. Uh, so to start, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the top and the bottom of the citrus fruit. Um, so you can see uh, our top here uh, and then our bottom uh, that has the little navel. Um, so what we wanna do is we wanna cut um, through the citrus fruit and we wanna expose the attached flesh. Um, so there's gonna be three parts of the citrus that we're uh, gonna talk about today. Uh, so there's going to be the flesh uh, there's going to be the pith, which is this white part here, and then there's going to be the zest, which is this uh, light orange part that runs around the outside. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to cut um, through the pith and just expose that flesh. We don't want to leave any of the pith remaining. So I'm going to cut, do just one more cut through, and you can see now that I've removed that pith, and I've only removed just the smallest amount of flesh. I want to keep as much flesh uh, intact as I can. Okay. So I have my top cut off. I'm now going to cut off the bottom. And I did a pretty good job on this cut. You see, I don't have to make a second cut. I exposed all of that nice flesh, but didn't leave too much, excuse me, removed all of that nice uh, pith, but didn't leave too much of the flesh intact. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to cut around the contour of the fruit. You can see how the fruit kind of curves around. So I don't want to cut up and down. I would waste a lot of my flesh that way. What I want to do is I want to follow the angle of the fruit with my knife. Okay. And remove the pith. And you can see here I did a really nice job where I've removed uh, a good amount of the pith and just along the line of the flesh, but there's not so much flesh uh, remaining. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line my knife up so that where my knife is cutting through just comes in contact with the pith, okay? And I'm not leaving that pith attached to the fruit. I'm gonna follow, again, that contour around my fruit. And I don't want you to worry too much if you leave a little bit of the pith attached, because we can go back at the end uh, and clean it up a little bit. We want to get as much off as we can, uh, but don't freak out if you, know, you leave a little bit on as you're doing this, because uh, you can always go back and correct. My final cut here. Now I'm going to go ahead and check my fruit, and I did a pretty good job, uh, except for here, and you can see I left a little bit of that uh, pith attached. So I'm just going to kind of line that up and trim that off. Because one of the quality indicators of our uh, Supreme Cuts is that there's not going to be any pith left on uh, the fruit, uh, the flesh that we're removing. There's also not going to be any membrane, and we're going to get to that next. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to remove the individual segments of our citrus here. Okay. So we need to uh, remove the uh, flesh from the membrane. So you can see as you look down on this, there's little V's that run in. These are the membranes that encase our fruit. So you can see there's the membrane on either side and the flesh that runs through the middle. What we need to do is we need to take our knife and we're gonna, again, angle it so that it follows this V shape going in. We're not gonna cut straight through. You can see we're not gonna go straight up and down like that. We're gonna angle our knife so that it follows the angle of that flesh and cut on either side of the membrane and pop out our flesh. All right, 
So uh, a lot of times a mistake that students will make is they'll cut out the membrane, the, the flesh on the one side, and they'll go to the other side, but they'll still leave the membrane attached. Okay, so you can see how on this side, this is really nice, that flesh is exposed, there's no remaining membrane. But on this side here, we've left that membrane. You need to go back after and clean that up. It does take a little longer this way, so we don't want this to be our standard. What we really want to try to do is in our first cut through, get it right, so we don't have to go back and clean it up. But again, if you do leave a little bit of that membrane attached, you can go back and clean up your Supremes. Okay. All right. So those are our Citrus Supremes. Uh, the final thing is once you've uh, cut all the flesh out of the, the grapefruit, you're going to be left with uh, the remaining membrane. And there is still some juice in this that's usable. So a lot of times chefs will uh, juice this so they can just squeeze it out. And you can see all that juice running out. Um, you could use that in vinaigrettes or uh, for flavoring or, or you know for marinades. Uh, but you don't necessarily need to waste that juice uh, because there is going to be uh, some use for it. So let's review. When peeling and segmenting citrus fruit to make our Supremes, we're going to start by removing the top and bottom and following the contour of the citrus fruit to remove the pith from the flesh. We're then going to follow that V shape in and cut on either side of the membrane to remove the flesh. Our final quality indicators are going to be that there's no pith or membrane attached to our fruit. We have nice consistent size uh, citrus Supremes uh, with no pith or membrane attached.